Hey everybody, hello, hello, hi everybody, hi, 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 super happy to have you all here and I will tell you something right now, um, this uh, video is titled I'm making a hazelnut chocolate smoothie but the fact is I'm yeah. Lisa is. So Lisa Strickland, my beautiful client, she is super, super, super ready to help you make this hazelnut chocolate smoothie. And as soon as she said that, I got hungry. So, um, so I think we've got matching outfits on today, Lisa. So, um, so uh, I do, I do. I'm a fan of a little apron. I love them. Yeah, no, I love them. I've got actually quite a few and I do, I keep them on. When I put it on, I keep it on all day because I figure now, well, you know, what can happen? <laughs> We're going to do the gardening. We're going to do the cooking. Exactly. That's it. We'll be ready all for right. it. <laughs> <laughs> so Lisa, so um, I've just thought of something. I'm going to send you a little message um, when we get off here. But Lisa, tell us about the um the chocolate hazelnut smoothie it sounds just ugh, so yummy it sounds it like dessert if you want it to be or it's breakfast like, it's like nutella in a glass really <laughs> <laughs> except that processed sugar <laughs> love it love it love it love it okay. so, we have uh, Look, it's one of those ones where when people say to me, oh, I'm not really that fussed on fruit smoothies, I go, well, hey, have I got the smoothie for you? <laughs> because this is, it really kickstart you, especially, you know, if, you, if you've sort of woken up feeling a little bit flat, it's got all the ingredients to lift your mood as well. You know, you've got the cacao powder. So you've got, you know, that kick of a bit of caffeine as well as all the wonderful things in cacao powder like irons and, you know, magnesium and calcium. There's tons of great stuff in it. And not cocoa powder, everyone, cacao powder, okay? So there is a difference. Yeah. One has milk in it and one doesn't. One comes directly from the, the bean and that's the one you want because that's where you're going to get lots and lots of good stuff from. And my understanding, Lisa, is a small amount is quite powerful for that, with that, yeah. It is. But this has got two tablespoons full, so you're going to <laughs> We're not doing things by halves, you know. <laughs> but I will say this. When I have a smoothie, sometimes it's so nourishing and amazing. I'll only want half and then I'll put the rest in the fridge and I'll come back to it later. Exactly. Is, is that common? Yeah, look, it depends on how you make your smoothies. But, you know, we're going to be putting a little bit of flax, a bit of flaxseed linseed and some hemp in there. So it's got, and we've got dates. So it's got a lot more fibre in it, you know, with the nuts and everything. So you do yeah. feel full a lot quicker. And mm. if you're looking to reduce the amount of food you're intaking as well, it's a really good way to have a meal in a glass without, you know, uh, all that added temptation especially when you've got that little bit of chocolate in if you like to have something that's a bit on that sweet side and with the banana in it it, it sort of brings that sweetness out then you know this is this is going to last for a long time in your gut and uh, mm, mm, mm. digest a lot slower because of the amount of fiber so which yeah is for you and you know it's a good way of, of, of reducing what you're eating so you know you can go back to it in an hour and have a well, bit more. Yes, yeah. So yeah, there's no commitment to the whole smoothie. This is um, what used to I, I used to go. Oh, it looks so like so much, but then you take a sip and you have a little bit, and then you have half of it, or you put it back in the fridge and you come back to it. Uh, and then when you're on the hop, and I know that smoothies worked well for me when I had two little kids. So when I was running about with these two little children, um, that worked it worked really well for me because mm -hmm. I would have a certain amount and then I would go and deal with the children <laughs> or maybe they dealt with me, I'm not sure. <laughs> and, then, and then I'd go back and then I'd have a bit more 
and it was sort of just propped me up and there was no there was no commitment and then uh you didn't get that um you know like i've overdone it feeling as well like oh mm. i've had too much of this which can happen with anything a cup of tea coffee anything you know too much water even but that's how i found that i would work with smoothies yeah it's um, lighter to deal with it yeah morning. you know a lot of people um have gotten into mm. that habit of eating in the morning and this is a really good way of getting back into you know getting your metabolism working because when you don't eat you know you can really Thank cause you. with your metabolism so actually yeah. you know, making these sort of things have got lots of great vitamins and minerals sitting in one glass full and you're not you know throwing a whole lot of food on when your gut's not used to it your stomach's not used to you know when you go from that to eating again so it's a really good way of getting some nourishment into you without weighing yourself down love it totally I, love it but an appointment then i'll just grab throw that all together throw it in a, in a um, travel mug and take it with me you know it's better, it's better than better than a cup of coffee hey oh heaps better heaps yeah better. so yeah. you can have that later if you need to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so um thank you for speaking to that because it's um it it's 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 so incredible but also I have found, yeah, over the years, and and sometimes I'll even pop them in uh, the freezer, and it's a little bit like ice cream later. Like it just depends on, you know, the mix. And I'm sure you can speak to that. But tell us about this recipe. So you can freeze your dates. My banana was frozen; it's um defrosted a little bit, so it's a bit limp. But um, <laughs> but if you freeze your dates as well. Um, you can really uh, get everything quite icy in there anyway. And, and if you want to make it so that it is nice and icy in the middle of summer, just throw some ice in there and blend it all up together. And then you've got more of that sort of a slush dish. Or yes. A, yeah. A frappuccino y type of, uh, you know, type of uh, smoothie. Cho ch chocolate pina colada or something or other. Sorry? It's a chocolate pina colada or something. <laughs> My daughter thinks, because that's the thing too, is to be prepared. And our freezer never is empty in regards to frozen fruit. We always have lots in there. And, and it's really important that when we don't, when, if we use it, you know, because you go through ebbs and flows as well, especially in summertime. My daughter does lots of frozen fruit slushies, which will get her on. Uh, coming up to you know summer um, does that because they're healthy and you can get your kids into that and you too yeah and, yeah and the kids at heart as well and well well yeah yeah I mean um everyone from our hotter climates will say you you can kind of get sick of drinking water so yeah. yeah however you can get maybe your lime lemon water slushies whatever's going on but as long as it's healthy and sustainable it's mm -hmm. just um yeah it really seems to be amazing all right mm -hmm. i'll let you just step forward with this um funky yep. recipe the hazel chocolate smoothie all right so i've got my banana here which is looking a little this is what happens when you freeze them and then uh, they defrost so you've got to try not to let them defrost <laughs> <laughs> So now the other thing, so this is this has got lots of fibre in it, which is amazing for your gut health and makes you feel full, as we were talking about. So dates. Now I'm I'm lucky I've got my I get mine from my organic grocer. Just get the medjool ones, you know, they're like a lolly, literally. They're just beautiful, you know, they're just look at that. That's just oh, just do I'm I love dates as you can. <laughs> yeah. So there's yeah. just dates in there. Then I've got my hazelnut something. I'm going to have to take some of this out. I got a bit um, excited by the amount of um, liquid I put in here. Give me two seconds. I'll just tip out some of. So I'll talk to you about the milk, uh, the, what milk I use in a moment. So I've got some hemp seeds. Amazing, amazing stuff. Hemp seeds. Lots of omega threes. Lots of protein. You know, so, so this is the other thing. I don't tend to use protein powders. It's up to you. Um, but I like to use natural protein, and that is from, you know, things like your hemp seeds, 
your, your flax seeds or your linseeds, I put them in whole because the blender blends everything up anyway. So you don't really need to. If you feel more comfortable, you can put the ground up version in there. Um, I then put my hazelnuts in. This gets very full. Oh. And I'm going to push it all down. Because <laughs> we're made before knives and forks, I always say. <laughs> my cacao powder. Very right. So this is extremely full. So now the other thing I use is you can use milk of your choice. Um, I always use plant-based milks and I love my, um, my coconut quench, which in Australia, most people in Australia might know what it is. It's coconut and brown rice milk together. Okay. Um, you can use almond milk. You can use soy milk. You know, if you want to use dairy milk, you can use that. Um, I prefer to use the thing with this one is when you're using any sort of nut milk, you're going to get more protein. So that's the other thought. And to be very honest, once you put that in, you don't actually taste it because the chocolate and the, co and the hazelnut go over the top of it. So if you're not that fussed on almond milk or whatever, yeah. just try yeah. it and even water it down a little bit. But yeah, try yeah, yeah. So sorry, I was just going to say quite often um, a dash of water, a dash of a little bit of milk and some ice might be okay you don't have to have all milk um no. and that that that's what i've um had more often um yeah because i yeah my gut won't tolerate it, whatever milk it is it won't tolerate yeah. it doesn't need it doesn't need a, all that milk <laughs> um, but a dash is okay would you say yeah and the rest is all water so you yeah. just you know what you want and this is the thing it's it's finding that balance that you like this is the basic recipe that I've that I've done. Love it. And then you can tweak it however you wish. You know, it's Love it. one of those things. And and everything depends on mood, doesn't it? So, <laughs> but you've yeah. got so much flavour in there anyway. Um, yeah. That there's you know the cacao, there's the banana, there's the dates. Like you've already uh, stocked it on that level. Um, yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Can we make some noise? Yep. I just <laughs> I got really excited with this. This is gonna be nice and thick. So, oh, this is very thick. <laughs> It's a thick shake. Needs a big straw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, you have to have a straw. Smoothies don't taste right unless you have a straw. <laughs> <laughs> and an umbrella as well. Yeah, You've got to put an umbrella in the side. <laughs> I needed to make it. I normally make this in my Thermomix because it's a bit bigger. Whoop. Right, muscles. There we go. Nice. We need a taste tester, Me. and I'm not. I'm not close enough to you. No, and it's. I've got to find a, a cloth here. Ah, that's it. Couldn't get the lid off. All right. Now this is nice. So if you want a thick shake, this is the way to go. Nice one. This is really thick. So I usually make it in my thermomix because it has i can put a bit more room in there oh my god that's lift, so good lift lift oh that up god. for us <laughs> lisa lift that up for us nice yeah there it is okay gorgeous so um a re rerun on the ingredients and um and then we will ask we everyone <laughs> to uh share their own smoothies oh, um, this week everybody okay so share your own you might be a berry girl <laughs> you might be i don't know uh well um coffee i've done coffee chocolate ones before that have been amazing so it just mm. really depends yeah so um so re re uh tell us what's in it yep. so you've got um your milk of milk or water whichever you want to do you've got your cacao powder you've got your flaxseed or your linseed You've got your hemp, hemp seeds, 
your um, hazelnut, hazelnuts, I think, and, my, and your banana. And that's it. Oh, gorgeous. So I've got a question because I'm a bit of a health geek, as you know. Mm. Um, speak to me, um, if you were to sub out a different nut, obviously it's going to taste slightly different, but why hazelnuts? Is that, is that complementing? <laughs> Yeah, because it's a it's a Nutella thing, you know, chocolate and ah, gotcha. Yeah, so it's really a Nutella. Yeah, thing. Yeah. So, yeah, not a Nutella girl. So um, now but, I get it. <laughs> but you can now put, I get it. But you can but, put um, but, almond there. You can put walnuts in there. You can you can do whatever you want. Really. And some some nuts are um, more bitter than others, aren't they? So <laughs> so a hazelnut's more of a sweeter nut. I. I imagine, yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I love, like, most people, a lot of people like hazelnut chocolates and things like that. And when I used to eat it, because I don't eat much of it anymore, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I have it this way. Um, it, I, that was one of my favourite flavours. It, it, I don't know what it is about chocolate and hazelnut. They just complement each other so well. No, no, yeah. I'm a bit the same with... Um, was it macadamia nuts and I know you're from that part of the world and they're not common in the whole world macadamia nuts but yeah something about macadamia nuts and chocolate that's pretty good as well <laughs> yeah chocolate um, are amazing, amazing. <laughs> so this is in my book um which is you probably can't see it's just out of shot there okay so that's your community kitchen book that has just come out Perfect, and perfect. There's also a recipe for homemade Nutella in there for anyone that wants to know who likes that side of, sort of thing. So, there you go. There yeah. you go. All right. I like hearing that because my mm. kids will be right into that as well. But, Lisa, that, that's a great pick-me-up, a great recipe and something to keep um, in, the, in, you know, in the back of um, what you want to do once a week, every week, if you like, or more often. But everyone is going to love that. And remember, if you're turning people on to a little bit more healthy food, um, this is one way of doing it. I've, I, we've all had children that at some stage or another haven't eaten. I found smoothies have been amazing during that time. Um, yeah, and, and then also if you're not really... Um, uh, not really got your appetite going on and I know that was a problem for me during our lockdown last year I, I would just um, scratch away at things like this like really great food but not um, putting myself under the pressure of massive meals or anything like that so no. yeah yeah they're, they're just really quick and they're amazing for your kids because you can get you, you know it's it's really about boosting and building immunity long term so, you know, you want them to have that boost, but you want to continue to build it. And smoothies are an amazing way of doing that. You know, you can get whatever you want in there. Simple. Stuff. You know, it's a great food. <laughs> so, so uh, Ravina's, oh, Ravina's now saying that she's now hungry. And, <laughs> um, and then um, quite a few people have actually watching and got their thumbs up in our other groups and things like that. So, yes, I'm hungry. Like I said before I did this, um, we, we went live. I was thinking, oh, I'm hungry now. Um, thank you so much, Lisa, for that. And I yeah. can't, wait, um, can't wait to see what people's smoothies are this week. Um, and there's no judgment. Whatever you feel, uh -huh. you'd want to chuck, chuck in a blender. Um, I have sometimes even been without a blender and I've used a, um, like a hand mixer as if you would cook a cake and that's worked okay, to be honest. Um, so yeah, don't feel that you don't, you don't have to have fancy, um, equipment to make this stuff either. So, and, um, of course my son always uses his hand shaker as well. So, yeah. you know, it might not be great for your um, bananas but you can certainly um, still make a smoothie in something like that mm. no, all right thank you love, Lisa I love smoothies yes we can <laughs> um, start getting into the warmer weather we can start with um, with uh, smoothie bowls as well now that's that's, <gasps> that's another level up again <laughs> giddy up Giddy up, yep. giddy up but remember we're global so there's someone always in warmer weather and it's yep. someone's always someone's cocktail hour as yep. well <laughs> <laughs> thanks lisa talk soon
Bye-bye. Bye, bye, bye.